Nothing does it better than a simple rhythmic sequence. What makes this edit groove is how the clips match the music. Let's talk about ways to nudge, slide, and navigate your clips and playback. In most programs we're used to, we select something and use the arrow keys to move it by one pixel, inch, or frame. But switch over to DaVinci Resolve and things are a bit different. This is the playhead, and if we use our right and left arrow keys, the playhead moves one frame in either direction. If we hold shift while using our right and left arrow keys, our playhead moves one second in either direction. The up and down arrow keys jump between cuts on our track, and holding shift with the up and down arrow keys jumps between markers. If your keyboard happens to include a home and end key, you can use it to jump between the first and last frame of your timeline. Keep in mind that many of these shortcuts are affected by the state of the auto track selector. That's over here. The auto track selector is so important that I highly recommend you check out my other video dedicated to this feature specifically. Link below. As for making in and out points, you can set your player to those points using Shift I and Shift O. Now, I get it. This video is all about keyboard shortcuts, but I'll need you to pick up your mouse really quick and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep learning and share this video on your social media to help other video editors. So, we've covered play ed shortcuts pretty well, but what about nudging clips? To nudge a clip one frame, with the clip selected, use your comma and period keys to move left or right respectively. Great, moving one frame is really precise, but it can feel a bit too slow at times. Within DaVinci Resolve's preferences, in the user tab in the editing section, you can adjust something called default fast nudge length. It's already set to five frames. So how do we nudge our clip five frames at a time? Hold shift while using comma and period. Now we're talking. This not only works when you select a clip, but also when you select an edit point. Whether you choose the right side, left side, or both, using comma and period allows you to nudge the edit points side to side, unless you run out of frames and the green highlight turns red. Wait, but what about moving clips up and down tracks? How are you doing that? Okay, the arrow keys do move clips, sometimes. Select your clip, hold Option, and use the up and down arrow keys to move them across tracks. In terms of selecting clips, like this, you can hold down Command with your right and left arrow keys to select clips on a track. I'll link another video below that covers how to select multiple clips to the right and left of your playhead at once. It's a real time saver. All right. We covered a lot of keyboard shortcuts in today's video, and I'll be sure to list them in the description below. Also, I'm going to make a video covering some powerful keyboard shortcuts using J, K, and L that most beginners don't know about. Subscribe so you don't miss out, and have a blessed day.